I have found my way to the Real Bodies exhibit at Bally's in Las Vegas, Nevada. And this is an exhibit that I've always wanted to go and see. And I first heard about this when I was living in California. And they have 20 actual human bodies on display here that have been meticulously preserved. And uh, they have about 200 organs that are on display here as well. So, uh, interestingly enough, I'm here with Mercedes, who's a doctor, and she's having a hard time believing that these are actual bodies and organs. That's a pair of normal lungs right there that you're looking at. So I'm going to just do a walkthrough and share some of this with you. This is the, uh, this would, what is this? This is the bronchi bronchial tea tree. See that? Let the camera focus in. Always wanted to see this exhibit. This right here is the uh, respiratory system. So Mercedes is uh, Mercedes is having a hard time imagining that these are actual human beings that have been preserved. If I'm not mistaken, the majority of the bodies come from China. You can see the, the detail, the preservation here is just absolutely incredible. So that's what you look like. It's what I look like inside. Just a fascinating exhibit. Here is the respiratory system. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, the respiratory system delivers life-giving oxygen to awaiting blood cells and removes waste products from the, from the body. fascinating and for those of you that smoke you're going to want to turn away from this part of the video you're looking here at a pair of smokers lungs right there these lungs appear black and have great discrepancy from non-smoker lungs. This blackening is most likely the result of tar from cigarette smoke and carbon par particles from polluted air. And that's what lung cancer looks like right there. Mercedes was actually a little bit reluctant to come down here because she's seen all this stuff, she said. And uh, I don't think that she's seen it quite like this before. This is the median sagittal line. It looks like they took this individual and just cut him directly in half. Look at that. Here you have the intestinal tract, which would be Mercedes' specialty here. She works in gastroenterology. What is this? This is the, the whole viscera. The viscera consists of the digestive, respiratory, and urinary, and reproductive systems. Refer to the whole enchilada, well, there's the whole viscera. Now, interestingly enough, Mercedes has kind of gone quiet because when we came down here, she was just very adamant that these weren't real. She was telling me that these were like, you know, fake. She knows real, you know, but I think now, since she's quiet, she kind of 
recognizes the fact that these are real human bodies and not... Well, I'm not sure if they're real or not. I'm, I'm saying that... You're not sure if they're real or not? Well, these are they, real. They're exactly the human bodies are, but... Uh, no, are these real. are the real thing. I don't know how they can preserve it like that. They preserve it. They... See this? Look at that. So this is the... All around here you see signs that say, please do not touch. And, you know, I gotta wonder, I mean, who would want to touch this? So there is the... Look at that. Really a fascinating display. the stomach. It's fascinating. And now we come in here. Here's the human heart. Is that the heart? Yes. Some people say that I don't have a heart, but uh, Mercedes is laughing. There's the heart again. But I do. I have a heart. Kind of hard to see this in the in the dark. The blood vessels of the heart. How well we can see this exhibit here. They're all blood vessels. Look at that. Here's a display on movement, the skeleton and the muscles. So here you have on the left you have the, the musculars, muscular system with the muscles on the, on the right. And I would imagine this is probably the same, same person. refraining from commenting on certain anatomical features as I walk through here. There's a gentleman. Looks like he's trying to make a three-pointer right here. Fascinating. This is one of those videos that you do that you, you know, when you're doing a video, you just have a, a sense that it's going to be something that's popular, popular being searched. As I look at this gentleman here, there's a quote on the 
wall from uh, one of my favorite uh, favorite individuals, Napoleon Hill, who wrote Think and Grow Rich, and he says it is always your next move, Napoleon Hill. Look at that. Here is the brain. Some people would say I don't have a brain either. Look at that. Motor control. There's the belly button. The gentleman playing darts. Look at this. And here is a uh, gentleman, the thinker. Mercedes, put your hat on one of them. No. Okay. No. Are you enjoying this? Is it Very interesting? Interesting. It's a really good job. Yeah. Oh, it's a really good job, huh? <laughs> All right. As often as the case, you just when I think that I've seen everything, I round the corner and there's more. And how could I forget the section on love? So here is the uh, display on on love, and you have the. Uh, this is the female urogenital system right there that you're looking at. And there are the uh, female internal genital organs. And if I come over here, you got the male urogenital system right there. Look at that. is interesting here there is a uh, if I can show this to you an actual cross section of the penis there you go all right here is a uh, cutaway Look at that.
here you have a woman Here is the superior view of the male pelvic cavity. And here would be the superior view of the female pelvic cavity. they have on display over here. Normal female thoracic wall, thoracic wall. Here is the, here's the male right there. And this would be the, the female. Repairing the human machine. This looks like a plate that they put on somebody's skull probably after brain surgery. Look at this. Here's your artificial bone right there. For Trevian woman, there you go. Absolutely incredible. medical imaging example of medical imaging Here's the beginnings. Here's an embryo after, they're showing you an embryo after 56 days. If you can, you can't really see that too well. Fetal bone development, 14 weeks. Here you have fetus. There's a 52 week, 52 week fetus. Conjoined. Actually, have a conjoined fetus here. My goodness. Visceral hernia. Wow, what an exhibit.
As I mentioned earlier, these are, uh, I believe, all Chinese individuals. It's interesting how they leave the belly button sticking out like that. All right, so that actually is the uh, entirety of the of the exhibit. So hope you uh, once again. I hope you enjoyed the the walkthrough. And if you're in uh, in Las Vegas, come on down and see the uh, the exhibit here at Bally's. Mercedes never ceases to uh, keep me amused. You see, she's holding her hands like that. And she's like, she's got to wash her hands, you know. And she, I've never seen her, you know, walking around like she's got to wash her hands. And I said, what are you doing? I've never seen that before. And I, I said, is it because of the bodies? I said, you weren't touching them. And she said, oh, it's what I do in the hospital. I always wash my hands after, after something like that. Are you feeling like you just came out of surgery or something? Huh? Okay. So there you have it, folks. <laughs> we'll, we'll let Mercedes go and wash her hands and get on with the rest of our uh, tour of, of the Las Vegas Strip.